example, um, what we are faced with is the question is asking us to find the value where the function is going to be continuous. So you can see we have x as f of x, and that's going to be our input value. Does everybody see that? Okay. So what they're asking, again, is for us to find the value of k that's going to make this function continuous. Now, when we're looking at these problems, because we're going to do a couple of these, it's really important, kind of like that last example, number 45 or whatever else, to understand if the function is discontinuous, where would it be discontinuous? So we have to look at our two functions first. We look at sine of x. If you guys remember sine of x, right? Is there any discontinuities in sine of x? No. So we know that for all x, sine of x is continuous. And then obviously, 2x plus k, whatever the number k is, we know that's going to create a line. And lines are continuous on all x as well. Correct? So the only value where x is going to be discontinuous is going to be at the value of pi. Right? Does everybody would agree with that? That's the only value where it's going to be discontinuous, because both of these are continuous functions. So what we're going to need to do um, is evaluate kind of like the, the, um, the left and right hand side to make, sh make sure that we can evaluate for this k. So what first thing I'll do is I'll evaluate for the left hand limit as x approaches um, pi from the left hand side. Because we want to evaluate the limit at pi, right? Because of the, the value, we want to make sure that the left hand side of the limit is equal to the right hand side of the limit. So the left hand side of the limit is going to be the sine of 2 times pi. Right? And if you guys remember, 2 pi is all the way around the circle. Sine would represent the y coordinate. So the y coordinate at going all the way all the way around would be 0. So that's equal to 0. Then we have we have to evaluate for the right hand limit. Um, yeah. So we evaluate for the right hand limit. Now we can't really do anything from this, right? Because we have a variable and 2 pi is going to be some number. However, for this to be a continuous function, what again did I say had to exist? The left hand side has to equal the right hand side. So all you do is set up an equation, 2 pi plus k is equal to 0. And now we just need to solve for k, right? The The right hand has to equal the left hand limit. So now we can just solve for k. So I subtract 2 pi, subtract 2 pi. Therefore, when k is equal to negative 2 pi, this function is continuous. 